And we have something very, very exciting. We have our first guest. We do. <laughs> Long time listener, first time guest, Allison Monk Hull. Allison, welcome to the show. Oh, thanks. That's great to be here. <laughs> the enthusiasm is uncontrollable. So, so how long did you have to take to convince her to come it, on to the It podcast? was a lot of begging, a lot of pleading. I mean, you know, a couple pedicures. Uh -huh. Still I might. got them, and then she said, fine. Your feet finally look decent. I'll be on the show. With okay. You. So it's really good. But no, we were talking about, you know, things to talk about the show. I talked to my wife about what to talk about with you lovely people on our, our podcast there and back again. And... I was talking about Jesus being rejected, kind of broken up with, and we talked about what it means to be broken up with. And uh, we had a life, nice thing, you know, back and forth, back and forth. So I said, hey, maybe you should come on the show. And she said, I don't want to do that. So I said, maybe you should come on the show. She's like, I don't want to do that. I said, please, baby, please. She said, fine. So there we go. Yep, That's in a nutshell. Thank you for coming on. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate you putting up with the incessant <laughs> begging. Yeah, that's it's part of her life now. Wasn't it more about rejection? Rejection, not breaking up, right? Being rejected. Yeah. So, I've been rejected a few times in my life, so. No. Just a few. Not Patrick. A few. No. Oh, I've been Drew. rejected. When was the earliest you remember being rejected? I mean, we, when we say rejected, we're not talking about like your parents rejecting you. We don't want to get that dark right now. So we're not talking about that. No, this is one of the more lighthearted like, episodes. More lighthearted episode. We're talking about like if you're a, a guy, a girl rejecting you, or if you're a girl, a guy rejecting you. I have no clue what it feels like to be rejected by a guy because I'm a guy. I've always liked girls. Still do. That's why I'm married to once, fun times. But I have been rejected by girls. So I, I know. It's, I'm very confusing. And so I asked Allison, I, you obviously don't know what it feels like to be rejected by a guy because you're gorgeous. You always broke the hearts. And you said... No, there was a time that I was rejected. I didn't hear that. I heard, mm -hmm, that's right. <laughs> so when was the earliest you were ever rejected? Uh, I remember being rejected by... A girl I liked in eighth grade, seventh, mm. eighth grade, yeah, eighth grade. Um, she dated my best friend instead. He stole her out from under me. Yeah, mm. rough. That hurts. And it was a tough you, one. Tough did you all say yeah. friends? You and the guy? No, 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 no. Yeah, I wouldn't was, either. Yeah, kind of ends it. It kind of yeah. And that hurts because then you just yeah, and it doesn't. I mean, it. I remember my earliest was eleven. There was a girl I did karate with. You know, Hosha. I did karate, and um, I remember I went and gave her a box of chocolates. Uh, for Valentine's Day, uh -huh. and she gave them to someone else in the karate class, like right in front of me. And it was just kind of like, <laughs> you got re you to see the face. moment my heart just crumbles. And then it just went on and on from there, you know, junior high, high school, rejection, 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 until finally God loved me enough to let me be accepted and loved by someone, and now she's my wife. So, I fantastic. rejected the guy on prom night. You rejected on prom night? He was my prom date. But he wanted to date, and I didn't want to date. So God. I was like, thanks for the prom night. <laughs> that was a really nice dinner. <laughs> An $80 prom ticket. That's right. That's so mean. <laughs> Later. So mean. <laughs> Girls are mean. Jeez. You know, if a guy does that, what a jerk. What Girl, oh, well, she can do that. Mm, whatever. That hurts. <laughs> but, but how do you feel when you're rejected? I mean, what is the feeling you get? I mean, you feel rejected, but what, what type of emotions well, and things do you do when rejected? You're hurt, and with girls, when we're hurt, we want to hurt back. Mm -hmm. We want to get vindictive. <laughs> so I was rejected by a guy, and so I dated his best friend. <laughs> nice. That's how I got him back. Nice. I just listen to really sad music. <laughs> That's what I'm that, saying. Like that that, Girls, yeah, you get back because you can. A guy can't go, well, I'm just going to go. Get, it doesn't work that way. A guy can't just go, well, I'll get a girl to date me. No, they have to say yes. Because if they don't, that's kind of creepy. You know? A girl can just walk in and go, blink, blink, blink. Hey. You know, it's not a difficult thing for a girl. You know? It is a difficult thing. Okay, fine, it is. I guess that was judging. That was yeah. judging. But guys, yeah, we get sad. We get depressed, yeah. you know, we, we do the, I mean, you know. girls get depressed. That's why they have all of the memes about eating your feelings with ice cream and, you know, like. So I, I spoke too soon there, too. <laughs> girls get depressed, too. Yeah. But, I mean, guys, they get destructive then, even. Yeah. Not just depressed, like sad, you know, nothing compares, you know, all that type of stuff, you know. What was her name? Sinead O'Connor, right? Nothing compares. Or now you'd listen to, um, what's her name? Um, Not Taylor Swift. No, the, um. You Olivia, know, Rodrigo. Olivia Rodrigo. Olivia Rodrigo, right? You listen to Driving Past Your House. Yeah. I hate that. I know you young people like it, but Those I Those are the breakup songs. Oh, man. <laughs> They're breakup songs. Song. A, B, C, all that stuff. It's like, yes, but that's a catchy song, too. <clears throat> so you get sad. 
But then it can get destructive. Check out the second episode of the podcast, by the way, if you want to hear us talk about that song. Yes, indeed. It's fun times. Um, but like destructive, you go out and you do things you probably wouldn't do. Mm -hmm. You know, like as you get older, it's like you go get in the car and drive real fast. Mm -hmm. You know, do something yep. that's just not going to go well. Pushing you to your very limits. Yeah. Just to feel so, because that numbness kind of kicks in. Mm -hmm. When oh, you're yeah. rejected, a numbness sure. can kick in. You just don't feel something, so you want to feel something. Yeah. Right? So, and we all experience this. So what's, what's a, it's I a guess. healthy alternative? Well, it's not even a healthy <laughs> alternative. It's the reality that Christ died for you for that. He died for your, for what you feelings. do when you're rejected. He died for you when you do get so sad that nothing in life can ever be um, pleasing and, and happy. He, he died for you because you're destructive. He died for you because you're vindictful and mean and get back. He, he died for all that. On the cross, he saw all that and took it and assumed it. And kind of like what uh, uh, Brother Sturzenbecker talked about with Ash Wednesday being all about forgiveness. Forgiveness, yep. Right? We could tell you today, oh, here's what you should do instead. Instead of being sad, go read Psalms. Instead of being vindictive, read Romans. Yes, it's good to read the Bible. We're not saying it's not. But the driving point is, is that Christ died because he was rejected mm -hmm. for you on the cross. Yep. I think we should also probably take <clears throat> comfort just a little bit that even Christ died even for those who were Hurtful to us and rejected right. us too. Yeah, and that's true. He died for the ones who reject you. Yep. The girl who dated your best friend in eighth grade. The yeah, maybe not like, her. I don't know. Yeah, not her. No. The girl who took the chocolates and they were nice chocolates too. They weren't like the chocolates oh, from they Walgreens. Were... These were nice Some chocolates. Good quality. Yeah, like I picked them out myself. Chocolates. You know? Yeah, good stuff. My dad paid for it. So I was only eleven. But um, you know, it's like come on, you gave them to someone else. I don't remember it though. I'm, you know. It doesn't. Six years later. Yeah, it's not so, stuck in your heart. Yeah, still. it's not there. It's a little dagger. But yeah, what? No. <laughs> it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter. <laughs> and yet Christ has died for that. So that's what we comfort each other with: is that absolution, that forgiveness, and that's how we have a healthier way of dealing with it. So, yeah, you're going to be rejected, especially you guys. I'll pray for you. It hurts because it does hurt when you're rejected. It does hurt because it's like you you have these high hopes of this happiness and then it's just dashed to pieces. So what do you also need? Just good, there's actually, Luther wrote on this. Um, he wrote to a young prince who was struggling with depression. And he told him, you know, read the word of God. And when the devil continues harassing you, go into the company of good friends. Drink, now I'm not encouraging drinking at your age, you under 21, don't do that. This is Luther to a prince, so he's an older guy. But he says, have a yeah. couple beers, rejoice with your friendship, and rejoice in the gifts. So be with good friends. Don't close in on yourself. Yeah, because that's don't what seclude you, yourself from yeah. civilization. Don't go into the room and play, you know, all of the sad songs and just sob. You know, don't put grunge on. You know, don't, don't do, do that anyways. Don't, yeah, <laughs> probably shouldn't. Um, you know, put some hair metal on, get in the car, go hang out with some friends, and have, and same with the girls. That's it. Maybe instead of being vindictive, you go and hang out with some good they're going to talk you down off that ledge. Yeah. You're not wanting to call him again. Don't text that guy again. Right. <laughs> kind <Yep>. of thing. <laughs> so um, it's a good thing to have Christian friends. Yeah. So it's good stuff. Alice, any closing thoughts? No, I think you're good. I think just being around other people, other Christians, that mm -hmm. can kind of help you along. And Yeah. That's yeah. the key. I like it. I'm, I'm impressed that we kept a guest and we didn't run her off. We didn't run her off. We didn't well. We weren't rejected. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Now let's see if they ever get another one. <laughs> we, well, you know what? This is our first guest. We'll be recurring guests. And Challenge luck. accepted. <laughs> Challenge accepted, yes. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. We will catch you next week. Uh, check us out, higherthings.org. Follow us on YouTube and on social media. We'll see you next time. Adios. Bye-bye.